I study HIV and how it infects the brain and have, how it causes um, cognitive impairment because that's what we're seeing now in people. Even in people who are treated with heart and don't have AIDS, they're getting this cognitive impairment. So it's really important to understand how the virus gets into the brain and how it damages uh, neurons without killing them and that, or even infecting them. Uh, because you can't go in and take samples of human brains, uh, we do it by studying uh, animals who get infected with viruses very much like HIV. And they have all the di same disease symptoms and clinical signs, uh, and so we can model uh, what happens in uh, these animals. There were reports from people who studied uh, mice models of CNS disease that uh, minocycline got into the brain very readily and could protect against certain kinds of, of CNS disease. Uh, so we treated our animals with, um, with the minocycline and what we found was that there was a major decrease in inflammation in the brain and a very significant decrease in the development of the uh, viral CNS uh, lesions and, and the clinical signs of the disease. The problem with the clinical trial in people is the people were in heart and the signs of the CNS disease are very subtle and although there are some biological signs that uh, the minocycline has helped, there's where there was no definitive result in terms of improved cognitive function. Uh, I think it has to be looked at more carefully because it's, it, as I said, safe, cheap. Uh, it's being used in multiple sclerosis patients, so it does have efficacy in another inflammatory CNS disease. So, yeah, so we're really excited that doing experiments in this, in our animal model can lead to new therapeutics for people.